Hello, this is Bill from BrainMaster Technologies. I'd like to discuss with you a couple different error messages that we see on the BrainMaster 2E or 2EW modules. One that we get quite often is called no response on COM port. This error message happens when we go to hit the go button from the training screen, the software calls out to the BrainMaster module and simply doesn't get a response. The reason for this is usually a low battery scenario. So let's, let's walk through this and see how this works. First off, I'm going to go ahead and turn on a Brain Master that I know is low. And as I turned it on, I'm going to show you that we don't have any power on the red light. Okay, this, this unit is very, very low. Essentially, the battery's dead. As I go up to our software and I click run the next session, as we're looking at the BrainMaster software, we're looking at the setup home screen for 2.5 SE. I happen to be in the test folder. I'm then going to go ahead and click run the next session. We notice that our training control screen has opened. Again, my brain master is in the on position, however I know my battery is low. So let's see what happens. As I click go, notice I get no response on COM port. Check module, turn module off and on, check cable, check COM port number and status. Well, knowing that my battery is dead, I have a couple different options. If I have a rescue kit, for instance, I can plug in an external 9 volt battery leave the unit in the off position and then be able to communicate with the PC. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and end up plugging in an external 9 volt battery. As I plug in the 9 volt battery what we're going to find here is the switch is in the off position but yet I have a red light. Okay. We're now going to click run the next session again. We're going to click go. With that external 9 volt battery plug in, we now get ready to start. So now our Brain Master is now communicating with the COM port and everything's heading towards beginning a session. Okay. And now our module is running. So we'll cancel that session. Another error message that we see often where there's some confusion, it's called error opening COM port. The way that happens is if our battery is strong, but we actually happen to use the wrong COM port. So as if I go run the next session, and I go up to the word data, I'm going to purposely change my COM, for instance, to COM1, even though I know it's supposed to be on COM5. If for some reason your COM port gets changed by mistake, what you may often see is as I hit go, error opening COM port, check COM port number and settings. Okay, This is not a battery issue. We currently have the good brand new 9 volt battery plugged in but we're calling to a COM port where our Brain Master is not assigned to, thus we get the error opening COM port. Again, this is not a battery issue. This is a COM port problem. Another reason you may see this particular error is if, for instance, you have a PDA or like a Palm Pilot, for instance. Palm Pilots tend to be very aggressive holding COM ports. So if you sync on the particular PC that you're using your electroencephalogram on, what can happen is that palm will hold on to a COM port even though you've used it before with the Brain Master, you'll try to communicate and you'll get this message, error opening COM port, because it's being blocked by the palm software. If that happens, you want to make sure you go down to your taskbar, right click on your hypersync manager and disable the connection to the COM port. It's different in all of the different PDA software, so you do have to use possibly your manual for your PDA to figure out how to do that. But for the most part, it is simply down to the taskbar, right click on the icon 
for the Palm software and then disable it from there. Once you've done that, you can hit OK and then you can go back and try it again with the correct COM port selected as we go back up to the word data. I'm going to click use COM5. If I hit go, we're ready to start and we're all set. So just to sum up, module not responding is usually a battery problem. Our battery could be either low or completely dead. Even if you see a bright red light, it can still be low. The light itself only takes 1.5 volts to fully illuminate, yet the system needs 7.5 volts to communicate with the PC. Thus, from 7.5 to 1.5, You'll have a bright red light, but you will not get communication, and you will see the module not responding error. Your next step is to check your charger. Testing the charger should read open circuit 13.8 to 14.2 volts. If you see 12 volts or 10 volts or 9 volts or less, that charger is no longer functioning properly and should be replaced. Another option with a low battery error message is to use a rescue kit. The rescue kit is a great backup. We've seen that before using the 9 volt battery. You can get that rescue kit from the office at the 440-232-6000 number. And that's always, even if you haven't experienced a battery issue yet, it's good to have it so that if you're in the middle of a session and your battery gets to critical low, you can simply plug in a 9 volt battery and continue on throughout the day and not be stuck with a system that's no longer working. So again, a quick summary. Module not responding is a battery issue. Error opening COM port is an incorrect COM port selection. Thank you very much.